Hi fitness friends, today we have day number three of our 12 days of Christmas challenge. Today we are doing burpee around the Christmas tree. This is upper body, booty, and burpee focused workout. I will be using heavy, medium, and light weights and my 20 inch elevation. I have a three minute warm up. If you need more than that, go ahead and push pause and get it done. If not, grab your equipment and let's get ready to do some burpees around the Christmas tree. All right, let's get started right in with our warm up. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on. I'm gonna start with jumping jacks and hitting start now. If you don't like to jump, just go ahead and step it out. We're gonna start nice and easy here. We only got three minutes, but we'll get our warm up done and be ready to go. Come on. Here we go, jack it out. So you're here for 30 seconds and then we're gonna go into butt kickers for another 30 seconds. Start to breathe. Getting your shoulders warmed up. Getting some oxygen flowing to those muscles. Gonna switch into butt kickers right now. Bring those heels all the way up to your booty. Next, we're going to move into down dog and cobras. So, at the top of your mat, hands up tall. Come on down to your down dog position. Feel that stretch. Try to press your heels into your mat. And then come all the way down into cobra through chaturanga. Pull your shoulders back, come back, back up into down dog. Now we're gonna do a lunge, runner's lunge and twist. So one hand, one foot between your hands and open up towards that leg. Take a deep breath. Bring that leg back and switch feet. Open up towards the other leg. down. And next we're going into three-way lunges and switches. So you're going to lunge forward, lunge to the side if that's what you like, and reverse lunge and then switch. So lunge forward with the other leg, lunge to the side, reverse lunge, and switch. And our last warm-up move is high knees. So get those knees up. And we're going to start right into our first part of this workout. Our first part is Tabata pairs. There'll be an upper body move paired with a cardio slash booty move. Following each pair, we're going to do 10 burpees. We have the variation of the burpees. So we're going to be doing the same thing. It'll go fast. Our Tabata pairs are 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times through. And you're rotating back and forth between the two moves. So, let me hit start here with our timer. Our first two pairs are plank jack, shoulder tap for two, and then a tuck while you're in plank. So you're in that plank position for the whole 20 seconds. We're pairing that with a wide bicep curl to Arnold press. So your palms are facing out wide, your elbows will stay pinned to your body. Curl, and then you're gonna have your palms facing you. When you press up, they turn out. Bring it back down, okay? I'm going to put my vest on, and I'm gonna use 15 pounds per hand for the wide curl to Arnold press. All right, here we go, hitting start. First Tabata pair. Is starting now. I'm going to go with the plank jack, shoulder tap first. So high plank position. You're going to jack and shoulder tap at the same time. One, two, now tuck and repeat.
Okay, grab your weights. You have the wide bicep curl and Arnold press. Palms facing out, elbows in, curl, press it up. Bring it back down, finish off that curl. Deep breath. Squeeze. Send the weights down. Plank jack, tuck jump, again. Here we go, high plank position. round already for this first about a pair. So last round of plank jack, shoulder taps, tucks. Squat position, curl, stand up, get down, finish off the curl, and then do another burpee, okay? So, let's go. Sticking with 15 pounds, we have 10. Push up, come on up, curl, stand up, squeeze, down, finish off your curl, that's one. Eight. 
nine. One more. Ten. Finish off your curl. Nice job. All right, set the weights down. Our next Tabata pair is a back load lateral step up to curtsy lunge. So I'm going to use my sandbag up on top of my shoulders. Dumbbells, hold them up on your shoulders. Barbell, same thing, hold them up on back. You're going to step up laterally with one foot all the way up. Come all the way down and then go into that curtsy lunge, okay? So make sure you have plenty of room to do that. And I'm going to stay on the same leg for the first two rounds before I switch to the other leg. There we go. Okay. Second move is a single weight front raise, hold and twist to a split lunge position and overhead raise. Sounds confusing, but it's not. So, front raise, hold, 15 pounds. Turn, twist, overhead raise, down. Back to center, go the other way. Turn, up, down, back to center, okay? Your shoulders are gonna burn. So get your 15 pound weight out there and ready to go. Hitting start. Get that weight up to your shoulders for your lateral step up to curtsy lunge. Here we go. Lateral step all the way up. Come down into that curtsy. Keep it going. Squeeze that booty on the way up. Okay. Turn and twist. Front raise hold. When it comes out in front, you're ready to hold it there. Hold it. Pivot your feet. Twist up, down, back to front. Other way. Keep it going. Alright, I'm increasing my weight for that next round. Get the back loaded weight up on your shoulders. Same leg again. Lateral step up, curtsies. Curtsy it. Okay, 
Go again. Keep it out there. Twist. Squeeze it. Down. Other way. Oh my goodness. All right. Back to burpees. We have 10 decline spider push up burpees and an air jump lunge at the top. So, air jump lunge is just jumping up and doing a lunge position with your legs while you're going to jump. One spider push up per burpee, okay? Believe me, we're going to get plenty of push ups in this routine. If you want to double up, go ahead and do it. All right, let's go. We got 10. Feet up on your elevation. If you don't have an elevation, you're doing it right off the ground. Alternate legs will choose fire with. One. Two. Three. Four. Deep 
deep breath. Here we go. Close row. Squeeze it up. Upright. Elbows are out. That one's going right to your chest. For the upright row. Nothing else is moving, just your arms. Last round. Load that weight up. You got it. Step it up, reverse lunge.
leg up, tap, tap, bring it down, touch, tap, tap, touch, tap. All right, you're gonna go on the other leg and the other side next time. Wide presses. Let's go. Single, oh, single, double. Make sure those arms are going out to a nice Y. My left shoulder is just dead from pulling my body up for those crab presses and T-stands. Now we're gonna kill the right. Here we go. Crab toe touch on the other leg. So up, crab toe touch, bring that leg down, T-stand, tap it, tap it, down, toe touch, tap, tap, down, toe touch, tap it, tap it. All right, wide presses. This is the bottom half of our third round already. Weights are up. Press, press, double press. Work that eccentric motion. You don't have to go slow, but it's got to be controlled. All right, last round. Toe touch, tap, tap, toe touch, tap, tap. Okay, this is it, your last round. Wide presses. Arms up, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Five, I'm sorry, not ten and ten, five and five. You're all like, what? Five and five. <laughs> Push up, T stand, hip dip. Hop it in, jump it up, that's one. Command now. 
So you're going to have one foot in a plank position. You're going to hop over and back, do a commando push-up. Switching your legs after two rounds. Then we have tricep kickbacks. So you're going to stay in a bent position. You're going to do single, single, double. Okay? Let's do it. Hitting start now. Decide what's like you're going to burn out. Mat hop, commando. Here we go. I'm going to start with my mat hop. Get one leg up. Hop it. Hop it. Down, down, up, up, hop, hop. I'm going to stay on the same arm too. So when I switch legs, I'm going to switch arm, which arm I go down with. I'm going with 12 pounds. Here we go. Bend it over. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Keep your elbows up. Don't swing those weights. Control them. Nice job. All right, same leg again. Same arm again. High plank position, hop it. Okay, triceps again. Start with the hitch kick. Hitch kick it. Down for that tricep push up. One. Two. 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So we have three paired moves that we're working through like this, okay? Um, each pair is four minutes. We got this. The first one is a full release arms forward burpee, which means you're coming flat down to the belly, your belly on the ground, arms are shooting forward, then coming back to right under your armpits to push up for the burpee, all right? Paired with that in the 10 second rest period, we are doing shoulder taps. So you're gonna hold plank, and tap your shoulders, squeeze your butt and your abs so you're not rocking all over the place. Um, that's really hard to do. I know whenever I watch my edits, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally rocking. When I'm doing it, I don't feel like I am. But just do your best and squeeze your body as tight as you can. We have four seconds. Full release burpee. So you're down to your belly, arm shoot forward, back up, jump it up. These are like 20 second intervals. Okay, shoulder taps. Squeeze your butt. Try not to rock. May as well come down. Get another burpee in. forward. You'll start to feel it in your lats. Shoulder taps. Keep going. I know this is hard. No rest of Bata is really hard. going. You're getting close. Stay tight. Stay straight. Tap it out. 
down. Last round.
I lost count. Oh my goodness. We have four minutes of no rest of all left. So, we're doing a Bulgarian with a deadlift to a single leg push up and you're switching legs, okay, to alternate which leg you do the Bulgarian deadlift with. And in between that, you're going to leave your weights far ahead of you on the floor, so make sure you step away from your weights and do box jumps or tuck jumps. All right. Deep breath. If you want to do these Bulgarians without weights, go ahead and do a Bulgarian hop or Bulgarian clap under, and it'll go a little bit faster. I want to use some weights. Feel like burning out some booty with some weights. So, sitting them right here on the ground. I have my elevation set to 16 inches. I did that during the break. And I'm gonna hit start. We got four minutes of this brutal round left. Here we go. Grab those weights. You got a Bulgarian and a jet left. Then a single leg push up and a leg switch. So down for that push up. Put that leg down. Bring the other one forward. Deadlift it up. Bulgarian. Deadlift down. Leg up. Push up. Switch. Okay, box jumps. Grab those weights. Try to start on the leg that you stopped on. It's got to be a quick transition here. This is no rest Tabata. You have no time to mess around trying to figure out what leg to start on. Not when you have 10 and 20 second intervals to work with. Last round. <sighs> 
10 seconds of box jumps.
one.
and we're ready to go. Wide curl, arm will press, is one rep. One. That's one rep. So I will count it out for you. Go at your own pace. Here we go. This is the, the booty mini pyramid, by the way. This is your last mini pyramid, and you're done with this workout. Oh, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Tuck jump. That's one rep. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have the lateral step ups to curtsy lunge with a back load for eight reps per leg. So lift your knees up. That's 
Let's get it done. I just have to move my weights around a little bit because I have room to do my curtsy lunge. Okay. Let's do it. Let's bring it up carefully. Especially when you get towards the end of your workout. Don't be lazy with your weights. Here we go. Lateral step up, curtsy lunge, eight for leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one on this leg. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hopefully 
hopefully you didn't actually burp your around your Christmas tree. You may have some broken ornaments if you did that. So make sure you take the time to stretch it out. Drink a lot of water today, carry it around with you. I want you to drink it as much as you can, replenish your body, feed yourself with healthy food, give yourself the energy to come back because we have day four in this workout challenge tomorrow. I will see you then.